Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, hold on here. Yeah. So, today, I am going to mess around with some PUR15 Rust Preventative Permanent Coating. And I've got some uh, cleaner degreaser, some metal prep. So, I'll show you what we're going to do to. So we're gonna step outside um, lots of sunlight today so I'm gonna try and keep the camera without having too much glare we'll see what happens so yeah everybody's seen that by now if they've been watching our channel and one thing I need to do is is I am NOT happy about that I want that fixed because I don't want it to rush through the cab and I want to uh, make sure and most of that's just surface it's really not all that bad but I'm gonna clean all that up. I'm gonna seal it, and then later on I'll paint this truck, but it'll be much later on. But I just wanna seal it for now so that doesn't get any worse. Because it was setting underneath of a uh, cover, and um, so there wasn't any water getting to it. It was sitting under a carport. Well, now it's not anymore because we're out using it and doing things with it, so um, I don't want it to rust the top of it. I don't want it to leak into the cab because that's hard to replace. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire the pressure washer up and I'm gonna try and wash off most of what I can with the pressure washer because I didn't really hit it that much with the pressure washer the other day because I seen it was taking paint off. But with what we're about ready to do, I don't care if it brings paint or not. So, here we go. Okay. So, uh, I had an uh-oh, but I'll show you what the truck looks like right now. So, uh, I'm going to let it dry. Put my lap right here. We removed a lot of paint along with the surface rust and stuff, everything, so I still got to sand it down, but I didn't want all that loose paint on there anyways. But that was a quick way to wash everything real good. And the good news is, with all that is that uh, the interior of the truck is still dry. So I didn't pressure wash through anything that hurt anything. The bad news is, is that Dad's Tahoe was sitting on the other side of it and uh, now I need to hose off Dad's Tahoe because it's got white paint <laughs> all over it. Which is funny, but it's not funny. So I gotta get Dad's truck hosed off. So I'll do that while I'm letting the uh, the roof dry on that truck but dad would be proud right now i'm sure so anyways i'll work on that we'll let that roof dry and then we'll get back to it all right so we're pulled in the garage you can hear the compressor running in the other room so i'm gonna use the air here in a minute i've removed the rear light which is just some phillips tip screws on the lens and then some phillips tip screws that hold the uh the actual piece on here and this thing leaked one upon it at a time and somebody put silicone all the way around everything and I've peeled some of that silicone off. I'm going to have a newer back glass put in it and I'm more than likely going to go to the solid back glass and get rid of the split window. Um, but something I want to show you is, is right here, this piece of trim. I've got this one pulled off already. I'm going to show you how to remove the other side. So. Come over here. Bring it down here so you can see this edge a little bit better. So the deal is, is I'm just using my pocket knife here. I'll cut this silicone that's on here, holding the end of it. There we go. 
Yeah. So, I'm going to get underneath of it, and I'm going to lift kind of out and up. Well, gee whiz, the other one come out real easy. It's going to make me look like a lawyer. There we go. Now start it up. So, I'm going to go up with it. I like that. It popped that one loose. So now I'm going to pull back on the whole piece of trim, like that all the way and then I'm gonna run up through here and as it gets to a tight area I should be able to just apply just a little bit of pressure not much just a little so I'm not trying to break everything on the inside of it I should be able to there's another one I'm just trying to be gentle there we go so that piece is removed and the next thing I want to do is because I'm going to be working on it these little plastic keepers which I broke one on the other side because they are old and tore up so these ones you got to take it all the way that way and then just pop them off I'm going to push it towards the front of the truck on this one the way they're made and if you look you can see how they're pocketed I'll probably try and get some new one of them and of course the very end one and this end one don't have that because there's a stamped metal place made in each end where them go. So I'm going to lay them off to the side for now and I'll gather these up, put these up someplace special. Okay, before we get any further here, uh, one thing about this truck that I'm doing a little different is, is uh, in order to make sure I get all the rust there towards the front of the roof, I took this and my pocket knife and uh, I cut off the seal all the way across the top of the windshield right here. And I just, just trimmed it off all the way across through there. Now, not everybody's going to be able to do that. I have a crack all the way across this windshield, so I plan on putting a new one in anyways. And so I'm going to have that done hopefully within the next week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, that way I can get to everything to make sure I get everything coated properly. So just want to share that with you, because when you go to see this, you notice this don't have a seal against the top of it, because I cut it off. Okay, so here in a minute, we're going to use a little bit of a sander to uh, sand the top of it. But I don't want to do that just yet. I want to go through some of the really bad rust spots, and I've got a rust remover poly carpet abrasive wheel and this is thin metal so we're going to see how well this works as far as quick work goes and then I'll sand everything afterwards. If this goes to being too aggressive then uh, we'll do something different. Okay, so I'm up here on the roof and I'm uh, taking out with this again, which actually this is working really well. Let me show you something. Let me take this off the uh, camera stand here. You can see where I'm pretty well down to bare metal there now and where it's to the rust line there. See the difference? And so I'm going across through there because this was the obviously the worst part was the front. And then I'll take and I'll hand sand this edge down through there. And then I'll catch these spots and then I'll sand everything because the back of the truck turned out pretty good. And right about here's my line where my hand is. So we'll get the front of it done. And then we'll start the uh, POR 15 metal prep process. So wish me luck. Okay, that went pretty good. I gotta do some hand sanding over here. I still gotta do the front of the truck, but let's do this for a little bit. Okay, so the truck's back outside again because first I'm gonna rinse it because I've got uh, everything sanded and cleaned the way I want to. And after that, I had an old container of uh, the degreaser had a sprayer on it 
So I poured some new in it, mixed with some water like it recommends, and I'm gonna spray the top of it with that and let it uh, do its job and rinse it off. So everything else is gonna happen outside for a little bit and then we'll bring it back in again. So it all dried. And as you can see, the areas of bare metal kind of started to kind of flash rust real quick. So I gotta get on this, but the other rusty spots kind of coated up. So, so now I've got my clean thing and a clean brush and uh, I'll start painting. Well guys, that's it for tonight. Um, I'll be back in the morning. It should be dry by then. And uh, we'll see how it turned out. But I'm going home for the night. So I'll be back in just a split second in your guys' mind, but I'll be back in the morning here. Well, I'm back in the garage this morning and uh, let's take a look and see what we got. It is uh, glossier than I thought it would be, but it covered everything pretty good. It didn't self-level as well as I would like to have, but when we primer it and sand it, it'll be just fine. But the good news is, is I just don't think it's gonna rust anymore. So I'll uh, put some primer on it and uh, I'll put the pieces back in here for trim and so there we go the top of the truck has been uh, coated in POR 15 so that should stop the rust situation so guys if you uh, don't mind hit that like button and uh, subscribe and we'll try and keep some decent videos coming see you later